We're in uh, the trusty computer lab again, and Steve and I have been fooling around with um, with the 7800 and and the uh, trackballs that we converted to to the 7800. This one isn't done yet, but it was converted. And you know, I blatantly put this in here as product placement. There is what they look like when they're done. Of course, it's in a plastic bag for for protection. Um, so this is now 7800 compatible, and uh, uh, both fire buttons work independently of each other and it's in trackball mode and we've been fooling around with it in trackball mode and yeah sometimes you can actually get choplifter to work a little bit uh, we haven't tried uh, any of the other games sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you put it in joystick mode and, and you don't get much uh, too much of a reaction out of it either but I know Atari was going to actually have a um, uh, a trackball for the 7800 and I'm wondering if there isn't some data in this game um, that um, could easily be uh, fleshed out have full trackball mode so let's have a quick look and see if we can get anything done here okay so we want it to go up so sometimes it goes up and sometimes it don't There we go. But to get up, and of course you can see it does that. Whoa! And of course I go at an angle, and when you go at an angle, you can get a little bit more, more height out of it. See, there is some control here. Um, but I'm gonna about to be nailed again. Now this is in trackball mode, this is not joystick mode. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to go down. These guys are bad, they'll get me. But anyways, we did do better on other games, but of course this is on film now. There we go. Once you get the hang of it, you can actually get it to fly. Once you get the hang of it, you can actually... You can actually even shoot tanks. Every once in a while there, see? But once you go down, it's hard to get back up again. And then you become the target. So anyways, that's it with Choplifter. Just thought you'd want to see.